Well, it may not even be Halloween yet, but for beer lovers, guess what? The Christmas season is upon us. You can feel it. The air is getting crisper. Snow will soon be falling. So Great Lakes today officially kicking off the first pour of its Christmas ale. And thank you, Control Room, for the snow. You see that? I know. It's cool. It's not even sticking. It, no, it's, you it's know. It's hot right now. <laughs> and this News 5 original, John Kostick, tells us years later, this holiday favorite has plenty of local company. What unceremoniously happened 27 years ago has today become a certified event. The first pour of Great Lakes Christmas Ale had beer lovers lined up more than 400 deep to get in. We usually take vacation days. I put this in a year ahead of time. So does Samantha. And if you don't know what today's all about, keep walking. Somebody just asked me what first pour was and I just stopped talking to them. Like I just stopped messaging her like she does. She's from Cleveland. So why you don't know what first pour is? And though here for Great Lakes on this day, a lot of the folks here will tell you when it comes to Christmas sales. I have to be honest, I like them all. And there are a lot to choose from for this reason. Ohio is a hotbed of Christmas sales. John Nayway would know. As co-owner of Akron's Thirsty Dog Brewery, he's watched over the last decade or so as his 12 dogs of Christmas became the brewery's biggest seller. It's amazing. It's a beer that's out there for 10 or 11 weeks. Um, people are waiting for it. The same could be said for Market Garden's spin on the holiday brew known as Festivus. One of our biggest challenges with Festivus is keeping up with production. So e even as we speak, we're bottling, we're working multiple shifts a day just to keep up with demand. There is competition among the local brewers, but there is also camaraderie and the recognition of Great Lakes Christmas Ale. The beer the others will say is responsible for the wedding of the region's collective Christmas whistle with the ground they broke in 1992. When they came up with this recipe, it definitely started kind of a tidal wave, if you will, of, uh, of great beer in Ohio City. And the lines on the day that Santa himself delivered the first keg have recognition of what they already know. Christmas ale is definitely kind of considered the OG of the Christmas ales that you find today. As a result, the region has carved a niche for itself and established a reputation for being the home of the seasonal brew. If you looked at a store shelf seven years ago, there were a handful of us with Christmas ales in Ohio. And if you go in the next couple weeks and look, you're, you're overwhelmed because you'll see 20 plus Christmas sales. And in Ohio City in particular, beer lovers have found a holiday destination. Folks come in from even out of state, they'll book hotel rooms for the entire weekend, and this is their plan. The holiday festivities begin in Cleveland. John Kasich, News 5.